Well, the Crosstown Shootout's back, but tonight's game really lived up to its temporary namesake of the last few years, Classic. Yeah, it was a good game. Both UC and Xavier were fighting for the right to go to the big dance, and that fight would come down to the very last possession. Mike Burke's here with a fantastic finish. Mike? Well, Rob, back on campus for the first time since 2011, the Crosstown Shootout was almost like a game of survival. Both teams coming off bad home losses, and the loser might put themselves on the outside looking in as far as the NCAA tournament was concerned. So it's nice to play this game late in the year with so much at stake. Double so technical Reynolds fouls, Jalen Reynolds, Octavius Ellis, tame other than that. Seconds before the half, D. Davis with the three. Makes it 36-24 X after one. 75 seconds to go now, UC goes to the big man. Gary Clark, how about this move? Great footwork, missed the free throw, two point UC lead. 55 seconds to go now, UC up two. Here's D Davis again. 16 for D, X made 10 of 17 from deep, and from there, they would hang on and survive a road game in the Crosstown shootout, 59-57 tonight's final. We just stuck together. We knew at the end of the day, it was just us and people on the bench and behind us, and you know, it, it was just a great feeling. Uh, we, we knew it was going to get loud. We knew they were going to make their runs. Uh, we probably we let them creep back in the game. But like you said, at the end of the day, we just stuck together. And, you know, we just uh, kept it going. All right, as mentioned, the shootout, as you know, was back on campus where it belongs for the first time since 2011. The atmosphere was electric, and a lot of fans will probably be hoarse tomorrow. Local 12's Brad Underwood was there. Brad really made a big difference being back on campus, did it not? It really did, and, and you saw that before the game started when you were doing live shots uh, in the gym, just how many fans, the students were there early, even tossing around some booze as Xavier was warming up. But, you know, this game used to have so much excitement around it, arguably the biggest game, uh, sports game of the year in Cincinnati, and you go to the previous four meetings before tonight, the two teams splitting them, both grabbing two wins. But, again, not a lot of excitement around those games. Well, those days are over. Uh, it is a, a new time here back on campus with the shootout coming. And, you know, my seat was shaking the entire game. You, you could barely hear it, and that just proves exactly why this game deserves to be back on the campuses. And now an altercation, and this is the last thing you want to see. One of the ugliest fights college basketball has seen. UC, Xavier, the shootout brawl of 2011. The fight nearly ended the yearly rivalry. They changed the name from shootout to classic and moved it downtown to U.S. Bank Arena for two years. That trip downtown is now over. The shootout is back. The excitement is back, and once again, a sold-out crowd is back. I don't blame them for going back when, when they went to U.S. Bank, but, you know, it really is exciting to see them back at, on campus. I love the fans and, like, the atmosphere at Fifth Third is so different, so it'll be really cool. I think this is where it belongs. I think this is where the rivalry started. More <laughs> out. I think it's where it belongs. And the fans aren't the only ones amped to see this game back on campus. The players say it's about time. You know, I loved it, to be honest. You know, it's my first time playing, you know, at Cincinnati. You know, the first time, you know, it didn't end so well. But, um, you know, being here and, you know, having the fans, you know, being involved in the game, not at a neutral side, you know, it was, it was an unbelievable feeling, especially if you win. And the game lived up to the hype, tied in the final minutes. And again, as Mike mentioned, Xavier pulling out the two-point win there, those free throws coming by freshman Trayvon Blewett. And Cammie, I, I like how you mentioned earlier, this is an instant classic. Students, uh, fans are going to be talking about this one for at least a, a few days. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Brad, thank you.